words and images really do go together for me, and they create something more than either of those elements alone. Um, and so my impulse is always to have pictures somehow. And um, when I started looking at the diary, I was thinking, okay, well, I love these old Victorian novels, Victorian era novels. Like, you know, I have a few issues of Zola. And, you know, it's like every 10 pages, there's a full page illustration. And there's a frontispiece. And there's all these great pictures in it. And these, pic these books are not meant for kids. These are adults. And there's pictures in the books. And that's how it was at one time. Um, so I was thinking, maybe I could do it like that because I really like how that looks. Um, and I started that way. In fact, like that illustration, like you'll see some large illustrations that were full page illustrations um, that were probably the first pictures I did because I was trying to fit that in. But it started to really bother me because illustrations like this are silent and they don't progress the narrative. You know, maybe I'll describe Minnie and then there's a picture of her there. And in the past, illustrations were not done by the people who wrote the book. It was always an interpretation. So it just felt so stifling to me. Maybe comics would work. Um, I could try this. But the, the problem with that is that how could I get it, how could I work it so those comics seem to be a part of the whole text rather than separate? Um, I was afraid that it would be, you read this, then you get to the comic and there seems to be a jarring break. And I didn't want that. It was, so my aim in this book was to create this kind of seamless flow from the text into the comics, back into the text, where you accepted it and it, it didn't shock you and you weren't just like reading ahead to the next comic, to the next comic, but you were accepting that you had to read the whole thing. Um, and again, that was kind of, and it also gives a different rhythm to reading it than you would have either in a fully prose novel or in a, a fully graphic, graphic novel. Um, so I was kind of playing with that too. So I don't know if I was successful, but that was my aim, to get something that felt seamless. And also, um, a teenager's diary is really like, it's tunnel vision, you know, they're, they're thinking for themselves. They have to because they don't know who they are. And so they have to try on a lot of things and talk about themselves all the time. So the comics are generally scenes that were not written about or that were just referred to but not fully discussed. And they are not written from anyone's point of view in particular, it's an omniscient point of view. So you see Minnie, the main character, in the in context of all the people she's always talking about and you s hopefully see her behavior in a different light and also the behavior of others because i guess that view is of a more adult mini if anybody else